Good deal. We'll go ahead and get started. My name is Colton Minot, and um, this is the class um, from Mrs. C. Uh, we're an advanced topics class, and what we study is water. We study insects. We just got done doing an insect collection. We got to kill a bunch of bugs and put them on points and pin them, and, uh, which is really, really neat. I don't think you guys are into insects at all. But what we wanted to come down here and talk to you guys about was water. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start off. And I want you guys to raise your hand. And when I say water, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Right. When you guys, uh, anytime you flush your toilet or the water goes down your kitchen sink or anything like that, it's considered wastewater. Wastewater is different from the water that you see on the streets, which a lot of you guys, you might not know that. Um, water that's on the streets, it's, it goes into different pipes in this channel and those creeks that are around the lake. Uh, all your sewage water is wastewater. It runs out. Does everybody know where the golf course is? It runs out about halfway in between town and the golf course, and there's a treatment plant out there. And what it does is your water will run out there about every five minutes. Um, all the sewers, all the uh, city sewer is uh, flushed into that pond out there. And what it is, once it gets out there, it gets treated with chemicals and natural waste through uh, sand or anything like that. Because everybody knows like, when you pour water into sand, eventually it will go down through the sand. That's exactly how uh, we treat the water when we put pretty simple way. And after it's treated and uh, sand filtered and everything like that, it's pretty much safe and it goes right back into the local creeks around the area. This is what will happen if you just it. Does anybody know where water passes through the sand? Like the sand? And then underneath that, there's a uh, layer of clay. You can kind of see it's just white right here. And underneath your clay, you have gravel, like the rocks that are outside. Or if you have a fish tank, you put a box on the bottom of it, that's gravel. And in this gravel is contained water. So here you have a mixture of gravel and water. Now the reason this dirt is dry and not wet is because this layer of clay right here contains that water in this gravel bed. Now if you have a well, like if you're out in the country, or our city here, we tap into the Mahan Aquifer. There's a well or a tube that goes down into this gravel. And with pumps, they can pump the water up and out of it. Now the way the water gets back in there is if it rains, it soaks into the ground, and then it goes through the, through the clay, back into the ground. But if we're using more water out of the aquifer, then the ecosystem is able to put back in through rain, then the more, the aquifer will run dry. And if it runs dry, no more water. No more water, no more showers, 